Eddie Ibrahim, Director of Programming for Comic-Con International. Hey, everybody. How are you guys doing? Really? That's all I get? How are you guys doing? So make sure if you don't have some 3D glasses that you have your 3D glasses because this is a 3D presentation. And again, I want to thank RealD for uh, helping us out, making sure that you guys get to see this cool stuff. Um, I've seen some cool stuff on this movie, and uh, I think you guys are going to agree after you watch it. Um, it's awesome. So without further ado, I think it's time to start the Relativity Panel. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce the moderator of the Relativity Panel, Mr. Jeff Boucher of the LA Times and HeroComplex.com. Paul H., how you doing? All right, it's good to see you. You don't want to hear me talk. Let's get to it, right? Immortals is about a power mag king, a secret weapon, a heroic villager, and it's about liquid mayhem and visual action that brings together gods and men. So let's get to it. First of all, I'd like to bring out a director who is a visionary, director Tarzam Singh. Also going to bring out the producers, Mark Canton and Gianni Nunari. Nice to see you, sir. Hello, Mark. How you doing? Great. How are you? It's good to see you guys. Welcome to Hall H. Thank you, man. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thank you. So you know what, um, Mark? We'll start with you. You know, a, a little film called 300 started its success story right here at Comic Con. Yeah. And it's a, it was uh, a story that uh, uh, had antiquity to it and, and, and amazing visual effects. Uh, you could have tried to do something similar, but you haven't, have you? What is this? No, we really, um, first of all, this movie, Immortals, stands on its own. It's in Tarsem vision, as I like to call it. There's nobody like him. We're thrilled to be at Comic-Con. There's a billion of me in India. <laughs> <laughs> And he says the same thing. And we're ready. <laughs> With Zach and every director. Anyway. <laughs> so Sam, tell us a little bit about coming into this one. You know, one of the fundamental decisions any filmmaker has to make right at the beginning is tone. What, what, what can you tell us about the tone of this film? Hmm. It's a little darker than what I think the trailers lead you to believe, but that's kind of like trying to send a television to people and they have to see the ad for the television in the old television. So right now the trailers that you're seeing have been for everybody. The movie's a little bit more hardcore than that, so hopefully the footage that you see in about 35 minutes will give you a clearer idea that it has a slightly darker tone than I would say the popular version. Terrific, and Gianni, I mean, these are characters that have existed for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, we've thousands. Seen thousands, in fact, well, thousands are made up of hundreds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've seen them on the screen in recent years in other films, uh, but you guys have g gone a different direction. These gods are younger, first of all. Yeah, those gods are very young and are very aggressive, and they're pissed. <laughs> uh, pissed gods. Uh, uh, yeah, the other gods are maybe more... Uh, Less original, I, I think Tarzam, as Mark said before, is, has his own vision. And those gods are really something that I have never seen for sure. And hopefully this uh, big uh, armada is ready to enjoy. Terrific. Well, you guys Let's wanna... do it. Do you guys want to watch a little footage now, and then we'll come back and watch a little later? We, um, yeah. we yes. would be thrilled to show never-before-seen footage. If, if everybody would be so kind to put your 3D glasses on and get ready for Tarsem vision. What'd you guys think of that? <laughs> Tarsem, can you talk a little bit about, you know, going back to these, these stories of antiquity? Did you find out anything new that surprised you as you were putting this together? Were there some new insights you had into why these stories have lasted so long or why these characters are so enduring in our consciousness? Uh, not particularly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I, let's think, move on. I think just, just doing the research, it was just, I think if you stick too close to history, I think you can't really beat literature. 
I mean, they've said it all before, and when you're trying to grab a bigger audience, the idea of making, you know, God's young, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of crap for it. People are always saying, you know, Zeus is supposed to be X, Y, Z, he's supposed to look like this. But when you look at Renaissance paintings, their interpretation of what the Greek gods looked like was as wrong. I mean, but they could always take, you know, like a really muscular man and take, uh, you know, like take a really muscular boyfriend of theirs, paint his body, take another old man's face and put it on there and he looked great. So for me, I can't really, don't really have the technology. So my idea was, if you wanted to live forever and you were immortal, would you like to look like Henry or you want to look like Mark? I'm like, <laughs> I, I think, so I just said, no, they're young. <laughs> you, 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 you want to have it, you got to go the other way. So yeah. that kind of research just changed my outlook. <laughs> That's fantastic. And Mark, you know, to, to, to fill this movie, uh, to fill the roles of gods, you, you need a heck of a cast. Tell us right. a little bit about the cast and maybe uh, yeah. bring some of them out here, maybe. Would you, would you like me to introduce the cast? Okay. No, but they didn't say yes. Oh. Would you like me to introduce the cast? <laughs> you see, I am Superman. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll start with the unbelievable slum dog who became the oracle the one and only Frida Pinto. Hello, Frida. Hello. Great. Hello. Oh, <laughs> joining Frida is one of Comic Con's favorite bad boys. From Hollywood and Malibu, Stephen Dorff. Um, yesterday, you may have seen some footage from the upcoming Relativity movie, Raven. Tomorrow, you may see some footage from the upcoming film, Three Musketeers. In a year or two, we'll all see The Hobbit but he's our immortal, he's our Zeus, the great, the wonderful young Luke Evans. Young, I like that. young you like. <laughs> it's relative. Even younger. <laughs> you have seen him with hardly anything on, on billboards all over the world. You, you certainly saw the new footage on Twilight on Thursday. Our Poseidon, the one and only Kellen Lutz. And because we don't have enough good-looking people up here <laughs> and enough unbelievable talent for which we're very grateful to really have found such cutting-edge talent, and we thank our director and the studio, Tucker Tooley and Ryan Cavanaugh, for supporting that as well, along comes the next Superman. But before he was Superman, he was Theseus. Our own immortal of immortals, Henry Cavill. Welcome to the immortals. How are you guys doing? Everybody good over there? We're good. Woo! All right. Henry, we'll start with you down at the end. You know, oh, right. he mentioned the Superman thing. You just flew in for this. So, I did indeed. Well, did you use a plane or? A <laughs> Uh, I hung up the cape for this one. 